teeth on these swords. Well met, and good fortune to you. Choose a reward. Purchase a crate from the store to continue, my friend. Farewell, my good friend.
teeth on these. Certainly. Sure. Well, the danger if you're dead. We just got in a shipment. I said life. Magicka. Of course. Enchanting is the art of empowerment. We gather... Not exactly. Runes... Glyphs are assembled by combining three different runes. Potency runes... Was it glow dust and... Alchemy is the... All reagents have hidden...
saved our high and mighty queen, eh? Ha! Huh. Naaman should have had the crown. On your feet, you louts. We're going back in.
her wisdom. Oh, <laughs> 
Kruti is pleased to see you. Most crates contain four rewards, but sometimes you will get a special fifth reward. Goodbye, my friend. Ah, may luck follow you. Adventurer, you're the one I seek.
by Kosh? What are those doing here? Ancient Yakutan coins, stamped with the likeness of Denobia. Those must be from the dowry. Nicholas had a disguise kit just like this one. In fact, this is his disguise kit. Look closely. There's a hollow crystal. I know how Nicholas survived. The crystal must contain Aldenobia blood. Maluk's path would ignore you if you held it. You'd need a lamp to find your way through the darkness so you could grab a handful of ashes. From there, I'll... I've seen enough. Nicholas faked his death and stole the dowry. Nicholas would. I told the guild about Nicholas betraying us. Walk softly took it in stride. Quen gave me a hug, and we also walked off without a word. All in all, better than expected. The Iron Wheel is a hurricane that blew into port and smashed. Nicholas taught me how to be a thief. I knew him for over a decade. Trust what about? Velso was right, and I don't say that lightly. I am responsible. Etta and Dalder died because of my mistake. Nick no. They seemed a bit distant before we first went to Aldenobia tomb. But it was also the biggest heist we'd ever pulled off.
Did Zira speak with you about the wedding? Kosh returned. Find Zira in the den and her. My theory? Nikolas gives Kosh the. Kosh becomes. Kosh becomes her puppet. I read. You're here! The old book we found at Sulima Mansion was the key to my father's cipher. His ledger revealed directions to his greatest treasure. It won't bring him back, but if we find it, Abar's landing will no longer have a hold on me. I don't know. I don't think so. I've enjoyed my time with the Thieves' Guild, even Velsa. And Lady Sulima is a stepmother I never knew. I wouldn't have figured out that we deciphered the letter together. I'd call out a number, she'd find the letter in the book. It was fun. She's so lonely, cooped up in her mansion. She only has mercenaries to keep her company. I know exactly where it is. Here, I'll mark your map. Let's go find some treasure! Wait, did you hear that? I recognize them from Sulima Mansion. Why are they digging? supposed to be here lady Suma? this is all wrong they weren't supposed to hurt anyone Wait. get back here please i never meant to harm anyone the mercenaries who protect my home they overheard quen and i speak of treasure i promised them a share and the rest i plan to give to quen you must believe me it was the only way to provide their salary the Iron Wheel never set foot in my home, yet everything of value has gone to keeping them at bay. None of my fortune remains. It is no excuse. I told myself, Seralda would want you to have a living with fear. You lie, you steal, you worry if the ones you love can accept what you've become. Of course I forgive you, Lady Sulima. Oh, my dear child. I don't deserve your forgiveness. Hush now. I'll bring you to a place where you'll be safe. It's where I live, and where you will too.
father died to protect Lady Sulima from the Iron Wheel. If it was his last wish, I should honor it. I'll give her my bunk. Honestly, I prefer hammocks. Lady Sulima won't have the luxuries of her manor. I'm glad you were part of this. The choice wasn't easy. I don't know. Crime does not pay, friend. E There you are. You heard about the wedding? This is our chance to repay Nicholas for selling out the Thieves' Guild. Nicholas must have planned all this, stealing the dowry, using it as leverage on Flora. Now she's bound to marry Kosh, his puppet. So we're going to crash the wedding. If Magnifica Flora learns exactly who she's about to marry, she'll turn the iron wheel on Kosh. And if we threaten Kosh's future, Nicholas will scuttle into the open. I look full. Silver Claw said he'd help with invitations. Meet him at his shop, down by the harp. I haven't decided.
a fascinating application of the technique. merchant in Abba's landing received a wedding invitation. Every single one. But not Silverclaw. Lord Wallavir, for one. That paranoid cheat lounges about the market as though he owns every tile on the walls. Or that lush lady Valina. She won't even attend. Just use it as an excuse to buy another dress from Perseus Loke. She's sweet on him. Hmm. I dislike them equally. Lord Wallavir would keep it in his pocket. Were you subtle enough, you could take it from him. Lady Balina would certainly leave it upon her bedroom dresser. Slip past her mentioned so Good, good! When you do, meet me at your thieves' den. How can we expect a decent forgery? I can barely read your writing. This one sit. This one hears the jingle of ill-gotten gains in your Yes, this will do nicely. Well. Away with you. I have cloth of gold to peruse. Again? I can't believe it. Well?
Felsa for the third time. I did you get the invitation? Whose did you acquire? No, no, don't tell me. I want to see it with my own eyes. Let me see here. And guest! Oh, this is good! The invitation allows for a single companion! Once you select your guest, you should visit the Diamond Thimble. If you aren't clothed in one of Perseus Locke's outfits, you'll stand out like a sore claw. You don't have to dress up. You get to dress up! But your companion will need to acquire an outfit as well, so go on. The invitation will be ready in no time at all. And ignore them at your peril. Well, I'm in. A wedding at Hubalajad Palace? Just imagine the spread. So, who are you going to bring? You... you what? When all this began, I hired you to work for me. Now Zira has me following your lead. What I'm saying is, it's strange to hear this from someone I work with. Thank you for not making this strange. All right, partner. Mm. Pleasure, Lady Bellina. I always enjoy dressing. Ah, my unlikely savior returns. Well, any of the selections you see here should fit. I have an eye for these things. Uh, please note, the outfit shall be on loan. I humbly ask you return it with the exact same number of holes. Oh, that's like asking a parent to pick their favorite child. Each is special in its own way. Delicate fabrics and exhilarating patterns breathe life into who- Oh, go with what speaks to you. The first choice is always the best one. Not after the Merchant Lords caught wind. It's good to be the preeminent tailor of Abba's Landing. Chief Inspector- oh, That horrid place of darkness. Magnifica Folora tried to lead me through, but I panicked and fled. Yes, it had a crystal holding a small amount of her blood. I mentioned it to your old guildmaster when he asked about the particulars of Aldenobia tomb. It's strange. I seem to have misplaced it. I have Remarkable. As though the outfit chose you. Hard to miss you in that. My, my. You don't exactly clean up, but you look absolutely roguish. I'll need my own outfit for the wedding. Something with a covered face. Not exactly. If Nicholas is working with Kosh, he may have given my description to the guards. I'll need your help to get inside. When you gain entrance to the palace, distract whoever wants. Good. Here's the wedding imitation, straight from the desk of Silverclaw. After you meet your date at Hubalajad Palace, present this to the gateman. I'll watch for your dis. Those are my belt. Amazing. 
I haven't dressed up like this since my... I know, I know, it's terrible. Nothing like I used to wear at home. It's nice of you to say so, but we both know this suits me as well as a ticket for a month-long sea voyage. Look at you. Such impeccable fashion belongs on the other side of this gate. Though I am a... Yes, everything in order as expected. Refreshments shall be served until the wedding begins. And might I... Don't want any riffraff finding their way inside. A wise suggestion of Chief Inspector Ron Beek. He's to officiate the ceremony, did you know? But of course you did. Please, come in. Tonight your safety is guaranteed. in here. Well, do you think the doorman could be convinced? If not, a distraction of some kind could pull him away from the door. You brought that mutt of yours? After the scene she made at the last wedding? Doshka is no mutt. She simply has a nose for the finest meats. And this time, I'm keeping her far away from the food. She will be on her best behavior. If we aren't thinking the same thing, neither of us deserves to be in the Thieves' Guild. Come on, let's find some food for Dashka. Uh, is this on straight? <laughs> I, I said the food is not rigged. Like now go before I hole. beat you with a spoon. <laughs> Smells delicious. Let's see if the dog agrees. I just wanted some well. chicken. She smells you. Head to the food tables. Get off the table! Someone take the dog away before this one turns it into soup! They should have watered down the drinks. Well? Perfect timing. I can't exactly climb. Before the wedding, the groom should be presented to his guests, an old Tanith tradition. Wherever Kosh is, Nicholas, everyone seems to be gathering closer to the palace. You lead the way. <sighs> this is a nice change of scenery from the den. First time I've been inside the Balajad Palace. Don't I know you? Attention. This is it. Stay close. Let's see if Nicholas makes an appearance. It is an honor and privilege to introduce our host for the evening. May I present the impending husband of Magnifica Flora, Lord Koss. Welcome to my home. I must thank all of you for joining me on this momentous occasion. That's Nicholas. Please, eat and drink your fill. Soon, I shall speak to you not as a humble merchant,
but as a noble of Tanith. Nicholas is Kosh? So that's Nicholas? His voice is oilier than his hair. I should have put it together. Nicolas played us. He played every. I don't know how Nicolas reinvented himself as a reclusive merchant lord, but he managed to do so. He could have been planning this for years. We need to stop the wedding. Actually, we need for Laura to do so. I think this can still work. Let's split up, learn where she is and how we can reach her. I need to come up with a very convincing argument. I wish I could pull that off. Too many jangling bits. The moment I climbed a wall, I'd be my own alarm bell. The old server's coming from the palace kitchens. Maybe they have a key. Oh, must be a hole in my pocket. I've decided this year, no more silk outfits. Only silver weave is good enough to clothe. They should really make the mugs. There's gristle in the camel milk, she says. Of course there's gristle. Who wants Magnifica Flora's handmaid? Everything about her smells like roses, if you get me. Fusses over the bride like a doting aunt. She says she's not my patron. If you help me, I'll tell you whatever you want. The Somerset Hills 572 is subtle enough, but they're... My cousin? Have you met my cousin, Magnifica? If you hope to talk her out of this folly, the eight no I've tried. She's you. Modesty is for the poor. Then my palate is decidedly more refined than yours. The failing is mine. that bottle, and I'll tell you whatever you care to know about me. Wonderful! Magnifica Flora's handmaid shall soon have her own bowl of milk wine, entirely free of gristle. Master Kosh installed her in his own bedchamber. It's upstairs, you can't miss it. Don't let the iron wheel see you. They're all through the palace. the way. We'll follow from the shadows. No more warnings. Get out.
Who are you? How did you get in here? Magnifica Falora, we came to warn you. Kosh is not the man he seems. He's a merchant lord of Abba's landing. That's one step above the scum they scrape from ship hulls. Is there any other grand revelation before I call the guards? If you can barely stand him, then what does it hurt to hear us out? Go on, partner. Tell her. People say, this is not how I imagined my wedding to be. They tell amusing stories of what went wrong, trying to outdo each other's tales. Calling the guards on wedding crashers isn't one I've heard. Why shouldn't it be the story I tell? The Thieves' Guild stole my dowry. In doing so, they upset my standing in Tenneth. But far worse, they desecrated the remains of my ancestor, Denobia. When they couldn't remove the jeweled crown from her head, they separated it from her body. The merchant lords of Abba's Landing are exceptionally crooked. They buy from pirates who raid Tenneth waters and bandits who raid Tenneth roads. But plundering ancestral tombs? That is too far. Kosh, head of the Thieves' Guild? You say he betrayed his own people to steal a dowry for some mad plot to marry a noble of Tenneth? If you are bard sent by my cousin, your imaginations are sorely lacking. Why not say Kosh rode a dragon? With what time? My escort arrives soon to begin the wedding. I have accepted my fate, as you must accept yours. Unless you can produce this... I have indulged this madness for long enough. Magnifica Falora is indisposed. She'll be ready in just a moment. Do you intend to keep me here? Look around. There's nowhere to go. From what I've heard of Nicholas, he'd never let himself be cornered. We should look for hidden passages. There must be a pattern. Try another combination. Did that cabinet just click? Well, well. A portion of the dowry Nicholas decided not... And this must be Denobia's crown. Nicholas, you've doomed yourself. I knew Nicholas kept trophies from his heists. I used to smooth it over with the guild. One of his eccentricities, I'd say. Becoming Kosh hasn't altered his compulsion. He desecrated Denobia's remains, cut off her head. Now... I'll show Falora what Nicholas really is. She wants Denobia's crown as proof? I'll give it to her, along with her ancestor's skull. Once I have her attention, she... Find your way to the wedding crowd. Magnifica Falora, there's something you need to see. Enough of the iron.
look red to you. Today, Lord Kash of Abba's Landing joins with Magnifica Falora, the jewel of Tanith. It is my honor, as a duly appointed officer of the Iron Wheel, to officiate their union. Stop! There is no honor what in this, this union. Gods! <laughs> Zira? You're alive? I... That is... What is the meaning of this? More importantly, why do you have the desecrated remains of my ancestor? The Iron Wheel is approaching. We have to leave now. There must be some mistake. Chief Inspector Ronbeek, take everyone into custody. Uh, I want this mess sorted. No! It's too late, Vizira. We need to go now. Yeah. Iron Wheel! Secure all exits! None shall leave the palace ground! Question everyone here! Be thorough! Possibly convince you to do the right thing and pay your fine, please. Stop, criminal! Please stop.
been busy, my friend. Rest and reap your bounty. Your date made it back before you, informed us of what happened at the wedding. Don't blame yourself. Zira told you. Yes, Zira's capture was an unfortunate turn of events. But Nikolas is the Iron Wheel's prisoner as well. A small reason to celebrate. Magnifica Falora has her dowry, and Nikolas is behind bars. The Iron Wheel won't be here much longer. Zira said you were in charge until she returned to the den. That may... Just so we're clear, an acting guildmaster has no real power. But it makes you sound important, so we may as well call you that. Also, you get the blame if anything goes wrong. You know how it is. For now, nothing. Until we learn where they've taken her, there is little. Silver Claw has information you'll want to hear. The Iron Wheel is about to put Zira on a prison ship.
Ready to help me with that personal matter? This is the family mansion of my old friend Anias Velmont. Just as big and... Anias? Where do I begin? I was taken in by Anias and her family when I first arrived in Abba's Landing. I owe her and the Velmonts so much. My mannerisms, my... Time passes, things change. When the family packed up for an extended trip to Black Marsh, I decided to stay here. They went to deal with business interests, and I wandered the streets of Abba's Landing. Eventually, the guild found me and took me in. I was brought here when I was very young. My first memories are of Anias and the Velmont Mansion. Anias and I grew up side by side. We were the best of friends. Until the family left for Black Marsh, we were always together. We were that close. You know, I never thought to ask about that. Anias told me that her father saved me from some horrible fate, but she never provided any details. The Velmonts were very... I was barely in my teens when the family left. She wanted me to go with her, but I couldn't leave the only home I ever knew. I slipped away in the night. I understand that since Anias has returned... The past. The Velmont mansion. Like shadows, my friend. It feels odd being back here. Let's not linger. Let's find those keepsakes and get out of here before someone notices us. Quickly now, search the courtyard and kitchens. Then meet me in the family wing of the mansion. If you wanted a bounty on your head, you got it, trespasser. Clear out before the guard shows up and clears you out.
I told you to get out. Now you're in for it. My amulet's in there. Would you mind getting oh, it? No. There's a I young Argonian in there. She sees these he, he settles me. There's one more thing before we go. Anais and I used to sit on the balcony and watch the sun set. I'd like to see it one more time before we put this memory behind us. I could use a break. Just the way I remember it. So beautiful. Anais and I would sneak out here and watch the sunset. It was the best of times. And yet you ran away. You betrayed me and left me all alone. Is that how a beloved pet is supposed to behave? Anais, I... I didn't... You weren't supposed to be here. You were my friend. We were going to do so many things together. And then you ran away like a thief in the night. And that's how you come back to me? Stealing my possessions? What are you saying? I don't understand. And you. You're just as bad as walks. Friends. Maybe when I was a child, I returned to take control of my family. Forget him. You've changed, Anias. Either that or... I've been fooling myself this whole time. Goodbye, my old friend. Goodbye? I don't think so. Even if you escape from the mansion, my agents will find you and bring you back to me. You're mine, now and forever. Meet me back at the den. We can talk there.
Our meeting with Elias didn't go in. She was my friend. Once. I am almost certain of that. We were always together, laughing, playing, exploring. I was a slave? No, I don't think either of us knew what that meant. Not back then. Of course. We took those memories away from Anias and recovered the keepsakes of my youth. Plus, we discovered how far my friend has fallen. I just need to figure out how to help her find the person she used to be. Unless she finds me. Now that she knows I'm around, I expect... Have a look. 